and welcome to Bulletproof Art. I'm Sam. If you enjoy bullet journaling as much as I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay connected. Today I am doing a weekly spread for the first month of May and it looks horrible because I messed it up and I didn't want to put it on yet. Here it is. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, excuse my messes and disformities of letters and such. So without further ado, let's get to it. I didn't really plan this month out very well. I started off with a pencil sketch of these hexagon shapes for uh, each of the days of the week and then I colored them in with my watercolor brush pens and they didn't really work very well with this paper um, so they didn't turn out the way that I wanted them to. And when I was doing the lettering here, I accidentally put Wednesday as the orange instead of the yellow, so I messed that up. <laughs> I really love how the lettering came out on all of the other days of the week, though. Wednesday was the only one that I had messed up on this one. After I gave each of the words a shadow, I went in with my number stencil and added one through five on all of the hexagon shapes. After that, I used half of an index card and rounded all of the edges and made this little calendar on there and then I just gave it a little drop shadow and I highlighted the week with a yellow highlighter. Now this part I royally messed up. It looks horrible, but I left it in there anyway because humans make mistakes. It happens. so. I'm trying to learn how to live with my mistakes, so I just kind of left it there and tried to decorate it as best as I could, but it still looks horrible. <laughs> now I'm putting in my little foot stickers for my steps and the payday flag on Friday and also the flags to tell me when I work. I'm just writing in the times for each of the work days and also indicating which job it's for. And then this little line here is to track my yoga. And then I'll just add a few little tasks on the side here and that about wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you love bullet journaling as much as I do. Bye guys.